Best night, one, two, three. Pick, pick. Best night. One, two, three, best mic. One, two, three. Best mic, one, two, three. Pick. That's my Pick one, two, three. My best. That's my Hello, my best. That's my one, two, three. Test mic, one, two, three, check, check. Test mic. Test mic, one, two, three, test mic, one, two, three, check, 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 test mic, one, two, three, okay? Test mic, one, two, three, check, check, test mic, one, two, three. That's my one, two, three, check. That's my. That's my one, two, three, check. Okay, good morning, everyone. So sorry for sa ating uh, oras na late po pagamay. And also, sa ato karong adlaw is a special day sa lahat ng ato ang mga ama, mga daddy, mga papa, ato mga itay, at lahat pa sa buong mundo na nag-celebrate sa ato mga uh, mga superman sa ating kinabuhi, ang ato mga daddy or papa. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Labi na sa ato mga viewers. Happy Father's Day po. And to begin, ako gyan yung tanas pagpanindog. And let us request Brother Dino to lead us in the 
bersama kami kesemahan selamat berjaya di bulan karung pukul tahun di Yata Dua Belas Sama Kami ingin kami makasih ini adalah kami mengusahai seluruh bersama Tuhan Kami ingin kami mengusahai seluruh bersama Tuhan Selamat berjaya di bulan karung pukul tahun di Yata Dua Belas Sama Kami ingin kami mengusahai seluruh bersama Tuhan Kami ingin kami mengusahai seluruh bersama Tuhan Selamat berjaya di bulan karung pukul tahun 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 Sel Kaya ang ilang pugad na ikaw magkakalalangin, magkaugan ka naman sa inyong mga kadayon o magmalig ang lugar sa isang lagay sa inyo. Yung lulang pagkampo, yung mga salig na kasalamatan, hindi lamang sa alam ng Kristo Isus sa mga luwas. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Dino. Let us sing, It is mine. Okay, ready? The first song's up. Ready? Wait lang. Medyo meron tayong technical problems. The mic? Okay. Sige ma'am, piano please. Okay, sing with your first dance already. Sing. God's abiding peace in my life. Today, yes, I feel it. Yes, I feel it now. Taken all my doubts and fears away No, I cannot tell you how It is my mind Blessed be His name He has given His perfect peace to me It is my mind Blessed be His name My for all eternity He has brought me Sweet and perfect rest be my rapture heart. I can feel it now. His passing moment is me safe and blessed with light my heart. And it is my mind. His name he has given is perfect. It is my mind. Blessed be his name. For all eternity, He has given me a never failing joy. Oh, I have it now. Oh, I have it. I will my ransom part and renew my grace. Here is my mind. Blessed be His name. He has given peace perfect. It is my mind. Blessed be His name, my for all eternity. Oh, the love of comfort. For His love is mine. Yes, His love is mine. Waves of joy and gladness or my spirit flow. Thrilling me, realize me why It is my mind Blessed be His name Amen Perfect peace to me It is my mind Blessed be His name My for all eternity Amen You may not take your seats and let us hear another message to sing you a message from the Ancheta family. Oh, my hands, and what 
Okay, mula bau yun. Sa tanan nga pamaagi, nga mahimaya ang ginoo. Now, Father's Day is not nearly as big as Mother's Day. Do you agree? Yes. It's far different from Mother's Day. Why? Kung inyong tingnan, ang bentahan ng bulaklak, mahina. When it comes to Father's Day, hindi man tayo talaga binibigyan ng bulaklak. So, hindi crowded ang uh, flower shop, hindi sila busy. Cards, uh, greeting cards, hindi rin, hindi rin masyado binibigyan ng mga father. Nearly, un, uh, nearly profitable ang mga cards ng restaurants, lalo na ngayon. No? Limited ang ano, wala masyado rin lumalabas on Father's Day na kumakain. Karamihan lang is Mother's Day. Tama? And also, uh, churches. Mm, samot na karon Kaya na quarantine. In churches, uh, you've noticed every time we have Mother's Day, maraming pad ng mothers sumatin. Puno yan, halos na puno ang stage natin. But when it comes to Father's Day, ah, absentee, marami. Amen. Okay, mga fathers dyan, amen kayo. Oh. On Mother's Day, pastors will, will uh, oh, be sent sa Tibur, Kalibon, Kalibutan, all over the world, world ang gina-promote sa mga pastors, ang sacrifices sa mga mama. And then, when the story being told, kadaghanan on Mother's Day, muhilak, no? Dagan muhilak, mga anak, mga mama, muhilak. Pero sa Father's Day, wala, good town. No. Ano man na? Oh, I do not know. Bakit? Because karamihan kasi on Sunday like this, even if it's Father's Day Sunday, marami pa rin Father's absent. Amen. Oh, siguro nga ngayon sa Facebook, I do not know how many fathers that are watching sa Facebook ngayon sa ating members of church. Oh, di ba? If you look up the word father sa dictionary, kung tingnan niyo sa dictionary, it occurs before the word patig. Okay? It occurs before the word patig and just after the word fathead. Alam niyo yung word na fathead, medyo hambot kung pamalikas na siya. No? Sa simple meaning nga na is a, pers- a, a stupid person. Hmm. Yan yung in between siya sa fatig and fathead. And uh, our text today declares something that is lacking mostly in men or fathers today. The greatest need in our society today is fathers who will rise up and assume their God-given responsibilities in the family. That's why the message today is stand out. Okay? Stand out. Fathers, we ought to stand out. And our text gives us basic responsibilities for manhood. But when a man becomes a father, those responsibilities are expanded. Okay, although the verse speaks of manhood and pag ikaw mahimu ng papa, kanina responsibilities as a man will be expanded. A father must stand out. Number one, stand out in faith. Amen? We need fathers today that will stand in their faith. Mark chapter 5, verses 22 to 24 the Bible says, And behold, there came on one rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, or Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, besought and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come, lay thy hand on her, that she might be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people Hallowed him and strong him. Now notice this man. Jairus, a leader, ruler of the synagogue. He came to Jesus 
and ask the Lord to heal his daughter. Come to his house and heal his daughter who is sick. They say that the daughter was about 12 years old. No? When we say stand out for faith, that means fathers today should display spiritual faith. Because the pressure of our society destroys the spiritual values of our families. Do you believe that? Our society today destroys the spiritual values of our families. Our families need strong example of spiritual faith to follow. And that should come from every father's today. Kaya nga, kayo, marami sa ating mga kabataan, mga young people, nag-apil-apil o face up. That is degrading to the values we have. Okay. Okay, sabihin natin katuwaan. Pero in the... In, in, uh, dark side of it, we are being captured by the subtleness and the deceiving tactics of Satan. Not knowingly, if you transform yourself into a woman and then you say, kagwapa mo din ako kung nababahe ko, you are now creating an exposure of confusing yourself. Pwede mo na ikaw mababahe. It's a promotion of sexual homosexuality. Amen? And even the Bible says that we ought to abstain from all appearance of evil. Now, that's the reason why we need leaders in the house to stand up and say what is wrong and what is right. And if we are not going to display a strong spiritual faith, how would that our children then follow our God with whom we believe and trust in faith? Diba? God has charged the fathers in the Old Testament of Israel to teach this value to the children. If you look at that in Deuteronomy chapter 6, 4, 4 to 7, you find that verses speaking of the fathers have been given instruction that they should teach the word of God, that they should honor God and, and magnify God and worship God above all everything else. That is faith. That is a strong display of spiritual faith. And that is lacking today in our society because fathers today are nowhere to found when it comes to spiritual things. Amen? Diba may kanta na, Where were all the flowers gone? Long, long time ago. Ang kanta na, Where were all the fathers gone? Wala na. And even uh, we see families today are broken because of... Uh, now, whom are you going to blame? You don't going to blame the wife? You're going to blame... Oh, it is still the responsibility of every father today to stand in faith and display that faith to their family, especially to the children that will follow them. Amen. And you know, I'm not against that, but... It is better and good to see the kids are singing how pleasant it is for brethren to bread together if it is just in the picture of a family that the family will sing for the glory of God. The father is there, the mother is there, and the children are there, and all the adopted of the family are there. Napat ang papa should be the one to take charge. Amen? Amen? When our children become ill, we stand ready to do anything, to perform our tasks, to perform our given tasks to help our child get healed. Diba? Mangita tagpaagi ng mga hospital, mangita tagpaagi ng mga palitang tambal. Kung ang atong anak gutom, if our children are hungry, we find ways to feed them. That's the same way in a spiritual matter. Our first task as father is to feed our family with spiritual things that will glorify God. Kung maningkamot ka nga, imong maanak maayo physically, you should also have that strong determination that your child will grow spiritually and faithful unto God. Some people might say that this action 
was that of desperate man, yung kay Darius, that he had no mat, no place to go, no way to run, okay, except to Jesus. But rather, I would say, he turned to Jesus because he believed that Jesus could heal him. Or, I mean, his daughter, that Jesus could restore the health of his daughter. Jairus was a man who had faith. And this is an example that we need today for our fathers. Men of faith. Fathers, we need to stand out in faith. That's number one. Amen? Number two. Now, meron tayo mga terms na ginagamit ngayon. And I would just like to use it. Number two is, fathers stand out in apps. Ano po yung apps? Apps is an abbreviated form or form of word from the word application. An application is a software program that designed to perform a specific function directly for the user or in some cases for another application program. It's a modern day application that makes things easier. Correct? If you want to order now, there is an app. Food Panda app. Ano pa? Oh, lahat yan, apps and tawag niyan. And you have to download it in your cell phone. Alam niyo, dapat ang mga tatay ganun din. We need to stand out in apps. So that the life of our family, the life of our wife, the life of our children will be happier and easier than ever. We provide them apps to make their life better. We provide them up so that their direction will be correct and what they need will be given. Ano po yung mga apps na needed na yan? The apps of grace. Amen. You have to teach your child to be saved by grace. Because we are saved by grace. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 8, For by grace are you saved. I'm sorry. For by grace, through faith. Mali na naman ako. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that, not of yourself, it is the gift of God. So as we are saved by grace, and therefore, as fathers, we need to give this apps application that they should understand as, as early as they can that they should be saved by grace by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ by faith. Amen? And then as they are saved and as we are saved and other, then the apps of grace also will shape, we, should, we, will, we will be shaped by grace. Titus chapter 2, verse number 11, it says, For the grace of God hath bringeth salvation, hath appeared to all men. We are all being shaped by the grace of God. And if your children, if your family are facing difficulties today, quote the verse, My grace is sufficient for thee. We are shaped by grace. That's an up. Amen? Not only shaped by grace, not shaped by grace, uh, shaped by grace, we are also seasoned, seasoned, seasoned by grace. Makita natin yan sa Colossians chapter 6, verse, uh, chapter 4, sorry, verse number 6, it says, Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how you ought to answer every man. That means when you grow out, when you know the word seasoned, kanaganay nagmature na, grown up, okay, like they uh, describe a player, a seasoned player, they don't want to be called a veteran, they just want them to be called seasoned, that means it had grown up, it had become expert, and as fathers, we need to be seasoned by grace so that we can distribute or apply this grace in the life of our children and family. Kung sino man dapat hindi reklamador sa pamilya, dapat hindi ang tatay. 
Amen? Pag ang tatay na nagreklamo, ibig sabihin, malaki na yung problema. Tama ba, Brother Dino? Oh. Because whether you like it or not, our children, our wife, get strength from the Father. And if the Father is not seasoned by grace, makaingon ta ng expression, oh my grace, my goodness, ingon pa sila. Hmm. Amen? Not only apps of grace, but also we ought to be apps of growth. Kung sino man dapat na una magtubo sa pamilya and spiritual matter, that should be the father. Amen? Amen ba mga fathers? Growth in the spirit. Di ba? Kung ating, in reality, ang ating mga wives, mas marami pang alam kaysa atin in terms of the Bible. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. In terms of memory verse, sino mas marami? Ang wife, children, o ang papa? Kayo mga wives nandito, can you say that you have more memory verses than your father? Yeah. Di ba? That's true. Then as an app of growth, we need growth in spirit. We are to be filled with the spirit in our walk with the Lord. That means we are to be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Under His control, yielded to Him more each day of our lives. The result of a life in the Spirit is joy unspeakable, full of glory. Gusto mo magkaroon ng joy unspeakable and full of glory. That the full of glory that will pull on the next point of our text, our message. Full of glory means is a testimony. Full of glory means is a legacy that you will leave behind your family. Amen? So we ought to be an app for growth. Spirit in a uh, growing spirit, growth in scriptures. Colossians chapter 3. Uh, sorry. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse number 2. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hereto ye are not able to bear it, neither yet now ye are yet are ye able. Hebrews chapter 5, verse number 12. For when the time you ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Fathers, enough of drinking milk. If we want to grow spiritually, and we want our children to grow spiritually, as well as our wives, we need to grow spiritually strong in the scriptures. Amen? Oh, First Peter chapter 2, verse number 2, As newborn babes beside the sincere milk of the word of God, that ye may grow thereby. Maabot ang panahon ang gatas para lang gid sa bata. Nabasog ano na tigulang na mo inom lagi gatas. Sa mga babae, calcium. No? But from time to time, we need meat to be strong. Amen? Not only growth in scriptures and spirit, also apps that will make you grow in service. Sabi nila, 90% of men or fathers in the church don't do anything. They just come, sit, and go home. Most of those who do service in the church are the women. Kapon, I was glad to see Brother Dino helping his wife arranging the flowers. Oh, that Brother Dino put some flowers here and then the wife removed it. Dili, mao, dili, bagay. And then go, Brad, nag ups na po ka. But the fact that he is helping, that's good. Amen? 
Oh, nag-arrange ka, nag-arrange ka ng flowers, oh. oh Nindot ka yung pag-arrange. Diba? Service. Ito yung kulang ng mga men. Men sa church, mga fathers sa church. They just come and sit. And some of even of them sleep. How will you expect that your, fam- your family will grow spiritually in service of the Lord if we as fathers are just sleeping on church? Amen? And it is also sad to see that you just send your family. You, know, you go to church, I will just follow you. And then when they, the service is over, the family goes home and they find you in the house sleeping. That's a bad ex- example. Dilip, ikaw magpadag mga anak ni mong manimba, ikaw mudala sa imong anak para magsimba. Amahan mong kahaka. Amen? Sakit na no, mapulong, pero someone has to grow up. Somebody has to grow up. As fathers, we need to stand out in apps. Application. Amen? Number three, ito na yung sabi ko kanina. Baka maubos ang battery natin. Number three is, fathers should stand out in testimony. And also speak of lasting legacy. Amen? Ezekiel chapter 22, verse number 30, and it say, I sought for a man among them that you should make a hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, and I should not destroy it, and I, that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Pagkasubo ng verse. Nangita ang ginoo o lalaki ng mubarug between the gap. You know, prerequisite for being a good father, being a man, functioning as a man, taking responsibility as a man, thinking like a man, acting like a man, working like a man, and all this are prerequisite for becoming a good father. And what are we going to leave as a testimony and legacy in our life as fathers if we are not functioning as a man? It's a dying art today. There are not many in our nation, in the Philippines or anymore, the men that will stand up or stand out in testimony. Thank God. Thank God. Here in Berean, we still have few good men. Amen? That we can always use. That we can always count on. Few good men. But we need few more good men. Amen? Fathers, we have, you have ever, have you ever wondered what family, what your family will be? Or what will your family will say about you after 10 years from now? Or maybe more years after you're gone. How does a father leave a legacy, a testimony? The apostle knew well what to do and how to leave a lasting testimony. As he wrote Second, uh, First Thessalonians chapter 2. He tells the believers that there what he tells the believers there what he did. Sometime last year while he was with them. And how are you going to leave a lasting testimony or legacy? Number one, cherish your family in verse number seven of First Thessalonians chapter two. Look at verse number seven. Be gentle among you, even nurse cherish it, da? Children. Amen? Ibig sabihin po, kung gusto mo that you will leave a lasting legacy to your family and to your children, cherish your family greatly. We compare yan ni Paul as the one taking care of a nursing infant by his mother. It is the care that places the welfare of the child above all others. Or even above the mother. 
A mother would rather face harm than to have her ch child harmed. The same with the father. We ought to, pro to protect our children to anything that will destroy their life, to anything that will harm their life, when their health needed and there is danger, where were you as a father? If the life of your child has been destroyed, where were you? If you, the life of your child had gone astray, where were you as a father? You know, if you know there is a curse in your family, it is about time. If you are still alive as a father, stand in the gap so that the curse in the family will stop at your generation. That's a legacy that you can live. And I am very sad to see some of our families today are repeating the history what is done in the previous a generation from their mother to the and then daughters and then to the sons in the same what is happening why because nobody will stand in the gap as long as a father will stand in the gap gap and cherish a family greatly the curse that your family has will be stopped amen number two not only that you cherish your family, love your family deeply. Verse number 8, the term used by Paul is affectionate, longing. It's a term that is used in a nursery, but it is a masculine and tender. It conveys or describes yearning for, a fond desire, feel, to feel a need for, a heart's appetite for. And every father, our appetite should be for the family. Our, uh, our desire should be the family. Amen? Kung ang imong desire mas basketball or other games than your family, ibilin mong pamilya ni mo just to play basketball, that is not loving your family deeply. Amen? Salamat ka ron, wala na'y basketball. I, do, I, I, I like to play basketball, pero may soon, kung may lakaw, akong pamilya, na other things to do with the family, I leave the basketball and go with my family. Amen? Even to the extent, mga, mag, mag, mga, mga yuk, pag, kanil, mananghit pa, pwede kumudula. Okay lang, kung may ngunang, Ang wife, okay na, okay. Kung may natay lakaw, ah, uh, natay lakaw. Amen? Family first. That is loving your family deeply. And then verse number nine, nine, labor diligently for your family. Many of you are doing this, maybe. You have done this. You have worked many years and late hours to see that your family had what it needed and some of it wants. But let me tell you, fathers, it is not only that you provide them, but you ought to be diligently there for them. You know, one memory of my father, which I call him Tata, and that's why I also teach my children to call me Tata and not Dad or Papa or other terms that I just like to use the word Tata. Now, my memory of my father that stands out for me is that of him hard working you know he was a hard working father i remember I remember my friend will say that my father knows everything yun yung marinig ko sa mga kaibigan ko when they come and visit our home they say ang papa mo alam halos lahat alam you know from air conditioning refrigerator engine heavy equipment agricultural machineries, electric motors, etc. Name it, my father knows it. And how to make it and how to make it work. I learned welding works because my father taught me. Why? Lahat kami, mga lalaki sa bahay, marunong mag-welding, marunong mag-kumpuni kahit konti. Bakit yun ang tinuro sa amin? And later part of his life, he teaches us the word of God. Amen? He may not be a perfect father, 
but he had done his best to leave a legacy in our lives. How about you fathers today? Are you going to leave a legacy that your family for the next generation will never forget? Live godly before your family, verse number 10. Paul, an exemplary life to show them how to live godly. Devoutly, holy, pure before God. You ought to put that in your mind that your children are looking up to you. Live a godly life before your family. That is the testimony and the legacy that you can live to your children. Amen, fathers. Salamat na doon ng imong upat ang atong fathers dili. Usually, tulura din sila since the quarantine had happened. No? So, doon nga nga si brother or si Doc Daya. Good to see you today, Doc. Number four na ta. Amen? Acronym siya ha. Number four. Fathers should stand out as husband. Oh. Fathers should stand out as husbands. To be a great father, we must first become a great husband. Hello. The Bible tells us how husbands should be in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 to 31. Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Look at your husband today, wives. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. Now, this verse does not, please don't make, do not under, misunderstand me. These verses are not saying that your wife is your slave to serve you every time you need a call or you need him or her. Dili po, dili po katabang ang imong asawa. Husband, sabi sa Bible, we submit our lives to Jesus Christ because He first loved us. Christ does not force us to do anything. He is our Savior and our Lord, and yet He does not force us to do anything or anything. In that sense, uh, that sense, husbands, you are to be spiritual leader in your home just as Christ lived us spiritually. Amen? Oh, hindi tayo mga boss, hindi tayo mga amo. Tayo ay mga husband at papa. Amen. Sa bahay, I don't really tell them lang kung mag-utos. Tell them lang. It's always the wife. Uh, ako, ma-follow up lang po. Itapon mo na. Maligo ka na. Kasi pag hindi sila sumunod at bumalik ang ang commander, second in command, mas istrikto man ang second in command kaysa chief of staff. Di ba, Dok? <laughs> oh. Patag-remind lang tao, sinabihan ka, di ba? O, oh, sige, gawin mo na. Yun lang ang ginagawa ko, tigpalo up lang sa mga uto. Hmm. Pero, hindi po tayo boss. Look at verse number, asan na ba ako? 25, husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. And down to verse 27, that he might present it a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such things, that, that it should be holy and without blemish. Christ loved us much that he laid down his life for us through the shedding of his blood, and we have been made holy and blameless. Husband, we are to lift our wives up, not to put them down. You will notice me lately, when I say to my joke about wife. Wala na? Kaya nga naman, ayun na Biblia, kung dili ni mo, you honor ay mong wife at the feet, that's what in Somewhere in the book, Fisher of Peter, na kung di mo siya i-honor, ang imong mga pag-ampo, di li ito bagong sa Amen? 
it will hinder hinder the prayer. So ought men to love their wives as their own body. Verse number 28, And he that loveth his wife, loveth himself. Gihikugmanin mo yung kaugaling ng brad, do Do you love yourself, brad? Nara, oh, turo iba, muna, tatbang din mo. Kung nahigugma ka sa imong kaugaling mo, nung wak kong dili ni mo'y pakita sa imong bana at sa imong asawa, pagkakon ka sa imong kaugaling yun. Oh, yung dok, o yan, oh. You love yourself, dok. That's why you take a bath, you know, we make ourselves handsome. For what purpose? For our wife. Amen? Oh. Kung baho gani ka nga ba na, wa ka na igugma sa imong wife. Amen? Amen. Mo na humut kay ko kanunay. Nga ligog perfume. Why ligog ligog? Why ligog ligog? Pag perfume lang, murag mga Indian. <laughs> Ay, sorry. Ang tingay na minaw. Sorry po. No, dili po racist yun na. Kultura lang yung kultura. Uh, it's a culture of themselves. So our culture is we wash ourselves always. So husband, next to God, remember this husband, next to God. Okay, we don't hate our own selves. So verse 29, yes? For, mo, for a man, uh, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it even as the Lord the church. Amen. So next to our God, Kita mga bana, next to God is your wife. And we, you should put most important thing in your life first. What comes first in your life? Oh, if you want the respect of your wife, earn it by loving her as Christ loved the church. If you show that you love your wife, then your children will show your love and respect. Your children will respect you and love you if you respect and love the wife, their mother. Mo na uban mga anak na to. Bastos kay ano. Wa mo ka magpakita nindot sa imong asawa nga amahan amahan inahan nila remember do ulra ba kayo ang mga anak sa inahan kaysa ato tama dili hmm. muhilak mo sakit na sila kinsa tawagon i saw them hear children cry and say mama ay papa they always cry mama ara gani ni sa hospital naghatod ni og emergency Nai, 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 uh, namatay nga mama. Katong anak niya, si gulang niya, matay akong mama. Mama, bana akong mama. Nanawa, si gulang na tayo. Maapektuhan niya po, kaya namatay ang mama. Inga na kadul ang mga anak sa mama. Muna, kung awayon ni mo ang mama, patay ka nga ba na? Dili ko matingala kung mabunalan ka sa imong anak. Amen. Ay mga papa, amen ya. Number five. Stand out in enthusiasm. Ang mga lalaki dapat kanin ang enthusiasm, enthusiasm, abtik no? Isigla ba? Ngano man abtik ta sa mga lain butang, pero pagabot gani sa balay. Dili ta abtik. Murat ang mga nasakit. Pangutan ang tanong, pa, 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 ano doon ko sa nanay mo? Ano doon ko sa nanay mo? Ano doon ko sa nanay mo? Tama ba, sir? Ato sa mga mama. Kung sa mga pasabot ang mga, ato sa mga mama, ato sa mga mama, ito sa mga mga kapoy ko. Ang mga papa dapat should stand out in enthusiasm. Amen. Look at 1 Corinthians 16. Verse 13 to 14. Abtik ka niyo ba ba yung ako na balihin na brad? 1 Corinthians chapter 16, 13 to 14. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men, be strong. Let your, let all, let all your things be done with charity. So ang ibig sabihin kung stand out enthusiasm, a father is alert. Watchful ang amahan, no? Watch. 
Hmm. Bantay mo. Pasing unsa na ginahi mo sa imong asawa. Nagbutang na dag malatayon diha sa imong pagkaon, pagbantay mo. Matingalan ang kagkalit, kagkirig. Muna yung nila, Brad, healing me softly through the stomach. Amen? Pagbantay mo. Tanawain niyo mga anak, basin wala na na ginahi mo. Mayo. Nagsigil na lang nag face up. Naurot na yung battery. Saya nga sa kong dagwa yan eh. Butang nga lang picture na ko, Brad. Face up. Hmm. Elisic battery uh, camera ni brother Kasin TV dili di apon dili daw pag buhon mo na mag agig pagi nga makailis sa camera bad alert active able at and then dili lang sa verse number 13 quit you like men that means active ka aptik quit you like men lalaki ta lalaki ayaw mo pag nahuyang huyang lalaki ta Amtik tanah lelaki. And then a godly father is able. Verse number 13. Be strong. Able. Mengutana dan yung anak dan yung tubaga. Able to answer. Oh, mengung ke anak. I do not know the answer. Answer dia puna. Kaisa mengung ke anak. Kaisa mengung ke anak. Semukan ni mo. Yang nalain tayo mo. Put. Tapi drink suai mo ang anak, ang anak, wak kuke bawa dek kuke bawa anak. Aku tunan, pengen balon aku sulti anda kah? Anak ragut, air bukan suku dayun lah, samuk. Wak langkah kembali satu bag mo suku dayun kah? Bila? So able, active, and then so verse number fourteen. Notice that a godly father creates an atmosphere of love. Amen. Kung naa may gugma na makita sa panimalay na agad magsimula mugikan sa amahan. Even though nagikan ka sa trabaho, gikapoy ka, pahumuta ang imong panimalay with the atmosphere of love. Number six and the last. Father should stand out in responsibility and blessing. Responsibility and blessing. Father's Day reminds us of our parental responsibilities and blessings as we show our love and acceptance of them, our family. Okay? Our responsibility is to show uh, our responsibility in our word. Amen? Acceptance means we will strive to find good in our children. Yes, uh, sometimes our children are hard-headed. Sometimes our children are, uh, what do you call that? Daigulu, muna hard-headed. If we are not careful, so much of our communication with our children involves catching them doing something wrong and then criticizing them for it. You have missed proper communication. Kitang mga amahan, we should not only find mistakes in our children. Sa ilang kabadlungon, they have still done good.